Northville Psychiatric Hospital was opened in Northville Township, Michigan in 1952. It was one of the best psychiatric facilities in the country at the time, with 20 buildings spread out over 453 acres of wooded land. Patients with a variety of psychological problems were treated in different wards and buildings on the campus, which was centered around a gleaming eight-story tower. The hospital was almost completely self-sufficient with its own laundry kitchen, gymnasium, movie theater, swimming pool, and bowling alley. It was powered by a steam plant that supplied electricity and heat through a network of underground tunnels. As soon as I entered the gym, my camera started to malfunction. It wasn't focusing at times and an overheating error kept popping up. This was very strange since I had never had any problems with this camera and it was about 50 degrees outside. My camera was messed up for the rest of the day even after I left. The next day, I checked my camera and everything was fine. This was super strange. In its early days, Northville Psychiatric Hospital was a pioneer in the use of art and music therapy. Patients could learn to play musical instruments, put on plays, study mechanics or home economics, work in the hospital, and tend to the grounds. However, in the 1970s, the state began to cut funding for mental health care. As a result, Northville was forced to close some programs and rely more on medication to treat patients. This led to overcrowding, as the hospital was now treating over 1,000 patients but had only been designed for 650. Some patients had to sleep in the gymnasium until more rooms could be made available. The budget and staffing cuts continued in the 1980s and conditions at Northville deteriorated. A series of investigative reports by the Detroit News in 1983 found that patients were sleeping in the hallways, chain smoking, and watching television. They were not receiving adequate therapeutic treatment and were instead being given large doses of psychiatric drugs, assaults, thefts, racism, neglect and people were common, and patients sometimes died at the hands of staff or other patients. Compounding the problem was that many of the doctors were foreign-born, which created a cultural barrier between them and the patients. One staff member wrote that Northville was a kindness to call a psychiatric hospital. People are not treated here. They are warehoused. Despite security measures, there were frequent escapes from Northville. People living in the surrounding neighborhoods became accustomed to seeing escapes walking down the streets or hiding in their backyards. Police would often find them at local restaurants or malls. In the 1990s, the state of Michigan began to close many of its mental hospitals in favor of community-based care. Northville Regional Psychiatric Hospital was one of the last remaining hospitals but it was also in need of major repairs and was sitting on a valuable piece of land. In 2002, the state announced that it would close Northville within a year. The closure of Northville was a difficult time for patients and staff. Many patients were not sure where they would be transferred, and some were even shipped across the state. The last patient left on May 16, 2003, and the hospital was then closed for good. The state immediately began to sell the property, which it valued at over $70 million. However, the sale dragged on for nearly 10 years due to legal disputes over the property's value and environmental contamination. The sale was finally completed in 2006 for $31 million. The hospital sat abandoned for a while until any action was taken. The main eight-story building that sat in the middle of the property was demolished in 2018. I was able to explore the main building back in 2015 and 2016, but sadly didn't get much footage of it. It was a very cool experience and was the first place that started my urban exploring journey. As of 2023, most of the buildings have been demolished and plans are to turn the empty land into Legacy Park, a so-called active recreation site, featuring hiking and biking trails to replace the former hospital.
Northville Psychiatric Hospital is said to be one of the most haunted places in the state. It has been the subject of many ghost stories and paranormal investigations. Some of the most common reports of paranormal activity are seeing apparitions of former patients and staff, hearing disembodied voices, feeling cold spots or strange energy, experiencing equipment malfunctions, and seeing orbs or other unexplained lights. Many paranormal investigation shows have episodes on this very hospital. One of the most famous stories about Northville Psychiatric Hospital is the tale of the Lady in White. According to legend, a young woman named Mary was a patient at the hospital in the 1960s. She was reportedly killed by a staff member and her body was never found. Some people say that her ghost still haunts the hospital, often seen walking the halls in a white dress. Whether or not you believe in ghosts, there is no doubt that Northville Psychiatric Hospital is a place of history and mystery. I personally never believed in ghosts or spirits until encountering some strange events at this very place. One I actually have on camera that I will be showing towards the end of this video. Every time I have explored this place, I always felt a weird vibe. I try to imagine what this place was like when it was filled with patients and doctors. I can only imagine the chaos that went on inside this building. It seems from the history that Northville had a bright future in the beginning. The downfall looks to have started when the hospital introduced psychiatric drugs and when it became over filled with patients. Here is some footage I captured in the morgue room of the main building in 2016. This was my first time exploring this place and I was with a group of friends. My one friend said, is anyone here? Right after he said that me and my friend standing in the room heard a very creepy old woman like laugh. It sounded like it was right behind us in our ears. We all jumped and were creeped out. We almost didn't believe it. At that time, I was recording a video on my phone and instantly played it back to see if I could hear it. We all listened and to our surprise in the video, you can hear a faint laugh towards the end. Take a listen. This was my first ghost encounter that I could not explain. I had experienced small stuff in the past, but I was never 100% sure. This made me a believer in another world we could not see. What are your thoughts? Do you believe in ghosts or spirits? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more.